Good evening. I would like to thank Tim Labonte and the Millville Access Committee for having this, along with resident Jackie Lima for requesting this introduction video. My name is Jennifer Dean Wing, and I'm a lifelong resident of Millville. I grew up on Central Street next to the now demolished property, which went by many names over the years. My parents, John and Betty Dean, were also lifelong residents. I have strong roots in the community, in which I take great pride. My interest for this town is motivated, motivated by love and dedication that I witnessed by many before me. My background includes graduating from Westfield State College with an early childhood degree in 1994. Shortly after that, I served on my first committee in town, the Bylaw Revision Committee. In 96, I decided to run for selectman for the first time, serving for two years and leaving in 2002. I was married to Keith Wing in August of 2003. We settled into our new home on Providence Street and we started our family. Just a 34 short months later, we were proud parents to three girls, Sarah, Rachel, and Eve. During that time, I earned my master's from Assumption College in special education. During my 10 years away from the Board of Slackman, I was fortunate to serve in an assessor, parks and recreation, cable access, and finance committee. In 2012, our family's work situation changed and I was able to dedicate more time and hours in the evening to Millville. It was then that I ran a sticker campaign for the Board of Selectmen because the position was left empty. In my heart, I knew that was not the best for our community and I've been serving on the board since then. I feel that the greatest contribution I bring to the board is a professional and level-headed approach to topics. I make a point to question every presentation that is presented to the board and ask questions that residents may want to hear. My favorite part of being on the board of Slackman is that I take emails and messages and phone calls from people. They ask me for help, I point them in the right direction, I give them the information that they may, may need. I also, on my time away from the board, I, sir, I run two local social media sites that promote memories, connecting with old friends, and prompting, uh, promoting current and local topics. During my last term, I was dedicated to bring a town administrator to Millville. Through one-time collections, negotiations, and grants, the town has seen up to $2 million based on our current administrator's efforts, which may not have been otherwise obtained. Through it may have been an unpopular position for some, it proved to be one of the best decisions for our town. I have also served in other civic duties, such as parent representatives in the BMR administration search committees, Girl Scouts, and MESPA. But my proudest moment was serving as co-chair with my husband for the Millville Centennial Celebration in 2016, which brought our community together. My interests have been and always will be providing our community with the best I have the time, desire, and most, most importantly, the heart to represent you. I ask for your vote on Monday, April 2nd at St. Augustine's Church from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you. Hello, my name is Erica Blake. I'm a 2018 Millville Board of Selectmen candidate. Thank you to everyone who signed my nomination papers to get me on the ballot. I really appreciate your help and your support. I have lived in Millville since 2004 with my husband and now two sons. I have a master's degree in business administration and have worked in the finance and accounting field for various industry sectors. Currently, I hold a controller position at a local manufacturer. I've become more involved in the community with each passing year. A few years ago, while sitting in a town meeting, I felt a bit confused by the financial state of the town and decided to get more involved. With a finance and accounting background, it seemed fitting to join the Millville Finance Committee. I've learned a tremendous am amount about the town's finances and have advocated to continually educate our town's people on issues. So we have a population of citizens who can make informed decisions. It has been quite eye-opening to know how hard town employees, board, and committee members work for Millville and nearly all do it on little to no budget. Millville has had its fair share of issues in the recent years but definitely can be headed in the right direction if we continue as a community to work toward a positive outcome. Not everyone will agree on the matters at hand. However, being present and heard is important. My goal is to be more involved with our town and be a difference maker. I will continue to ascertain the knowledge necessary to make good decisions for the town, but more importantly, ensure issues are brought to the townspeople. <clears throat> this is our community and we should all be involved with what goes on. Most, most decisions will affect all of us. 
You can contact me with any further questions at 508-458-5013 or email eb4millville at outlook.com. Vote for me so I can work for you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Richard Herto. I live at 70 Quaker Street in Millville, Mass. I have four great children and nine grandchildren. I was born in Woonsocket and moved to Bellingham at the age of eight. At 17, I quit school and I joined the Marine Corps, where I finished my high school in the service. Kennedy had just been assassinated. Vietnam was in full swing, so I felt as though they needed me, or so I told myself. At 20 years old, I got married and started my family, built my first home in Blackstone, Mass. After two years, sold it, moved back to Woonsocket with my family where I was involved with scouting and president of the PTA. At 25 years old, I was carpenter foreman of about 30 men, and we built the Woonsocket Village, an 87-unit apartment complex where I stayed on as property manager for nine years. At 34 years old, I moved to Millville where a friend of mine, John Hadley, uh, talked me into getting on the planning board and was later building inspector for nine years. In 2004, I retired from the Department of Corrections as director of engineer at MCI Norfolk with, where with the help of a great staff and about 55 inmates, I was able to obtain a national accreditation on a limited budget. 2005, I was on the board of directors at the Woonsocket Boys and Girls Club for about six years. Now at 71, still on a planning board, president of the senior club, chairman of the Veterans Memorial Park, still have rental properties, a project going on in Maine for a wind turbine, a project starting in Uxbridge for a solar farm. Uh, because of my involvement with our community and our seniors, along with the discouragement over the tax bill and with some of our town officials having an attitude of saying maybe it's time for some of our seniors to move on uh, really rubbed me the wrong way uh, and that's what made me decide to run for selectman. I'm hoping that uh, you will consider me for the position of selectman. I feel that with my experience in all of these things I can make a difference. Thank you. Good afternoon, Millville Town residents. My name is Ronald Marcos, and I'm currently running for selectman for the town of Millville. I would like to start with my personal bio. I'm 45 years old, married, have three beautiful children. I was born and raised in the city of Woonsocket, and I'm now proud to call Millville my home. I currently work in the criminal justice field with 24 years of experience. I also have 20 years experience owning a small business that incorporates several small commercial buildings. A large part of that business includes financial responsibility on my part. I have a bachelor's degree from Roger Williams University, and I will be completing my master's degree in May of this year from the University of Salve Regina. I'm running for selectman because the town of Millville is a beautiful town with a lot of great people who enjoy living here. I began this journey after listening to numerous concerned taxpayers. The town is facing difficult times ahead of us with the glooming financial deficit. What troubles me the most is the town of Millville has run a large deficit year after year for the last decade. During the last 10 years, the financial deficit was only addressed one time, and that was on June 4th, 2012, where the townspeople voted yes on question one, which pertained to the trash collection. Despite this large deficit the town ran year after year, this was the only significant financial correction that was made in over a decade. How can a business town or city operate like this. It's time for change, change for the people. The townspeople deserve better financial management and responsibility. I am more than qualified dealing with people and listening to what they have to say and making solid decisions pertaining to finances. I know I will be an asset to the town of Millville if I'm elected for selectman. If you have a choice and you have a voice and you will be heard on April 2nd. You have a difficult decision to make during this election. I encourage you to do your research on each candidate for selectmen. Do any of them currently sit on any boards that are responsible for the town's financial deficit? And then ask yourself this question. 
Do you want more of the same? The same financial mismanagement or do you want change? I'm here for the townspeople. I'm here to listen to your concerns and ideas. It's time for change. And I'm asking for the people in this community to help me to continue in my journey with your vote on April 2nd in support of me as selectman for the town of Millville. Thank you and God bless.